What the fuck, bro? You know, like when you're so like angry and disappointed and sad that like you can't even scream. You know what I mean? Like that's how I feel right now. Like what the fuck, bro? Like you guys literally choked and came the same exact day twice in a row in Golden State and then at home. Like fuck, how do you how do you miss 26 three pointers? In a row. Chris Paul is on the sideline. Perfectly able to play. What a bitch. What a pussy. The biggest game of your life. Of your fucking life. The biggest game you will ever be in and you sit out. It was a game time decision. Which means you couldn't play. Game time decisions means that you can go out there. That's what that means. That means you don't want to go out there. You might not. Probably shouldn't go. But you can. You can. And you did it. Like I'm so. Like bro. I am the biggest LeBron fan. But I do not want to see you. The Cavs versus the Warriors every year in a row. I told you guys, I told you guys, as soon as they got Kevin Durant, that now you are going to see the Warriors in the finals every single fucking year. And it's going to suck. I told y'all that. And look, four years in a row. This is fucking boring. Not to mention fucking reps cheating for the Warriors. <laughs> so close, man. I honestly would have rather seen anybody but the but the Cavs and the Warriors. Anybody. Like fuck, dude. This is. It's not even like LeBron to where like he played every game this year, 40 point triple double. He literally like willpowered his team into the finals. You know what I'm saying? It's totally different. The Warriors are just fucking coasting. They're coasting, bro. They're not even trying, bro. They try at the last second, bro, and then just make it this fuck oh my god, it's fucking So yeah. I don't really feel like uploading. I don't feel like editing. I don't really feel like doing anything YouTube related today. I'm surprised I even took the time to edit this video. So, anyways, we're going to watch the highlights for this game. We're going to watch the Rockets do the same thing they did in game six. Get out to an early fucking meal. I forgot. Clay Thompson, three fouls in the first. Oh, my God. Like, bro, we literally had best case scenario. Everything was going our way. Like, fuck, bro. God damn, dude. Oh, my God. What happened, Rockets? You choked. You choked. Harden 2 for 12, 2 for 14 from 3. Like, you guys fucking choked, bro. Fuck. Gordon able to save it, but lands in the hands of Curry. Here is Durant, That's all Durant was doing in the first half, really, was driving. Nobody could get anything to go. Durant was just driving. I'll give him credit. He was staying aggressive. Thompson wasn't doing shit. Curry wasn't doing a goddamn thing. At least Durant was driving and being aggressive. It's like the only three hard hit. I got like a whole array of donuts here, and I'm still pissed off. I'm still angry. Yes. Kevin Durant. Harden comes across against Thompson. Thompson played well against Harden the other day after the catch of that. Nope, I stand right here. That was the last three here. Yeah. Jumping out on Harden. Now it's none but fucking misses. Now it's none but misses, baby. It's ridiculous, man. Warriors versus Cavs again. I'm so tired of seeing it. I'm so tired of seeing Livingston. Do them little pussy ass mid range shots. 
that their strategy I'm so tired of seeing Durant. Like, bro, everything was going away. Do you understand Durant missed like three of his first five free throws? Durant never misses free throws. He went up there and missed two in a row. Like, what? Clay Thompson went up there missing free throws. Like, bro, everything was going our way. Fucking Durant and Draymond were arguing with each other. <sighs> yeah. Steven, even Steve Kerr was pissed at, at the beginning of the first and like, the second quarter when they tried to interview him. Man, he didn't want to say shit. He's like, we're down by five. We can pull it together. We can get back in and just walked off. <laughs> And then we lose. Here's Gordon on the drive. And it's Paul Sitcher last night. Point lead for the Rockets. Thompson able to score again. You guys were telling me in the comments yesterday the reason Kyrie missed the Cavs Celtics game is because he had to go to the surgery. What I don't understand is why couldn't you push the back one more day and got surgery the day after getting shot. That's what I don't understand. Maybe he was trying to get it done in case they won, so he'd be there for the finals. I don't know. But that's what it was. It doesn't have to do with this game because the surgeries are gone, but it's not a great act. And put my fucking hat on. I completely forgot. I feel bad for Jerry Green, man. Houston born. Does a lot for Houston, man. And by Houston, I don't mean the team. I mean the actual fucking city. Helped out a lot. They did a good flash and all that shit. Had him down by 14. It was looking insane. Fuck, dude. Damn, that sucks, dude. Uh, it hurts even more because we were up, bro. Damn. And Curry knocks it down. His heart and play off. Another foul he should have gotten. Thompson, yes. Six point swing right there. It's hard for Harden to get the foul because he's fucking banging for it every single time. Most of the time he's active. That was an insane pass. That was an insane pass. That was insane. That was insane. Click and Pella came to play. He did what he was supposed to do. All series, really. We needed Chris Paul, man. We needed him, bro. We needed Chris Paul, bro. Man, Looney, you gotta stay on that right side. We needed somebody else. We needed another score other than Harden to be able to just come down and put the ball through the hoop. Like, fuck, Chris. We needed you, bro. We literally only got you for this moment. This is the fucking moment we got you for, bro. And you're not there. Like, Jesus, bro. Am I the only one who's pissed off at Chris Paul? Like, what the fuck, bro? I feel like Nickens is giving Chris Paul and Kevin Love too much of a pass, bro. That pussy ass shit in game seven, bro, is not what we need, bro. I guess Draymond was trying to help him up. Harden didn't want to sell, so Draymond said, fuck you, and I go, fuck you too, bro. Pella 8 for 9, killing it, man. Yes. How about this? Kristen Ludlow. It is the seventh and decided game of this Western Conference. And by this point, we were fucked. And by now, we're, and by now, we're fucked. Now we're fucked. Now we done let him get a little bit of momentum at home. We, meanwhile, we ain't made a three-pointer all for here. Oh, man. 
Here's Johnson for three. They missed 23 straight. Come down to the middle of the goal earlier this season. Cavs versus Warriors again, man. I was telling my boys, if we would have got the Rockets, we would have beat the Rockets in five or six games. Now that we're going up against the Warriors, we're going to fuck around and try and beat us five or six games. I'm never going to say that the Warriors are going to beat the Cavs because I'm never betting against LeBron. I love LeBron too much. I got too much respect for LeBron. And LeBron is the greatest player of all time. You know what I'm saying? The nigga came back from down 3-1. So I'm never going to bet against LeBron. Ever. I, I refuse. But at the same time, I wouldn't bet on it. I wouldn't bet any money to the Cavs to get a win. I wouldn't bet a goddamn dollar. Now they just absolutely silk it off. Somehow we were just up 14. Now we're down 14. Like, holy fuck, bro. Holy. Defense is just sucking. E46 a big weak ass down. Durant played by Gordon. Durant shoots and hits. Kevin's working. Capella's been one of two while they're scoring at the other end. Here's Durant got the step. And two of 12 from three. Shit, weak man. I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't know what to say. I'm pissed off. I'm, I'm genuinely in a bad mood. Like, yo, when I tell you guys that I am genuinely in a bad mood today, I am genuinely in a bad mood. Like, it's not even like I'm just mad that they lost. Like, my mood today really sucks. Like I said, this is the only video I'm uploading today. Now, actually, there's one more video I, I was supposed to upload yesterday and I forgot to. I'm complete, actually. I, I had it all uploaded ready to go and I forgot to. So, it's just a two good videos today. I'll probably drop down on the floor this year. We're already here. But, yeah, so I'm not, like, I'm genuinely in a bad mood. I'm genuinely pissed off. I'm genuinely pissed off. I don't even want to, I don't even want to end it. I don't want to be here. I'm fucking a traitor. Which actually was tied for... Uh, the best in the NBA with... Cavs versus Warriors. Again. Okay, well, I got the Cavs in six, Cavs in seven. When LeBron wins this year against the Warriors with no one on his team, I never in my life want to hear anyone say LeBron is not the greatest basketball player of all time. Do you fucking hear me? Do you hear me? When LeBron wins this year, I do not want to hear anyone, not a single person watching this video, not one of the viewers, to say that LeBron is not the greatest basketball player of all time. Can we all agree to that? Okay, good. Just making sure we're all on the same page. Because in my mind, he does. He can never win, and he's already the best. But when he wins this year, I'd never want to hear anyone say anything other, other than that again. Fuck Rockets. Put in all of that work this year to get to this point. Chris Paul, we literally only picked you up for this moment. For this moment. That is the reason why we picked you up. You think we picked you up so we could win more regular season? No, motherfucker. We picked you up so you could help us beat the Warriors. Game seven, you're not there. Mid. 
missed 25 threes in a row. We can't get a single foul call. Motherfuckers brought Clay in with three fouls at the beginning of the second. Why did we not attack Clay ten times in a row? Like I just, 